Hi. How, you're so shiny and pretty. Why do you look so pretty? Oh. Hi. Here I am in the park with um, scapulars and clavicles. At the end of last week's video, I told you about John who had met Emily randomly in the airport while she was traveling home for Christmas. Well, he made me a video. Hey there, Laura. This is John. I am the mystery man who sent you an email the other day. I met your friend Emily on the plane and uh, saw her dancing in the airport and everything about the vibe and spirit made me want to get to know what was going on. So we talked about the Franklin Method and all these ideas of how we could fix my hurt shoulder, which is still hurting on a daily basis. And I took your free gift and did it for a week and I will be honest, I feel good. Uh, I feel at peace, which is nice. Uh, um, the only thing, though, I'm still skeptical about is that it still doesn't fix my shoulder, which is really messed up. I'm a bass player. I play all the time. I think I messed it up on a futon in New York the other day. Who knows? Um, I just got back to Nashville, and it's still just really bad. There's, just, I mean, there's only so much you can squeeze, you know, and it comes to the point where you start going, okay, maybe I need some help. So I'm sending you this to ask you for help. Um, happy to learn more, happy to be a part of it, and have a great and awesome new year. So John, it was so synchronistic that I thought for the end of 2011 and it's all synchronizing, moving into 2012, I had to do this video for you and bring some more synchronicity to your shoulders. When you're playing your awesome music, you need to make sure that all of those notes and the rhythm and the feeling and everything that makes it up to be beautiful music is synchronized. So it's the same thing in your body. And if those things aren't synchronized, if they're not working together, if there's disharmony there, you get a big noise or you get a pain, tightness, stiffness. So this is what you're experiencing in your shoulders. So how do you quickly and effectively transform your shoulders? Because you're a musician, you want to play music and that's what you want to focus on. I'm sure you don't want to spend hours and hours every day working on your shoulders. So I'm going to show you some quick, effective ways to bring some more liberation back into your shoulders. So first you need to know what's inside there. So you have bones, obviously, bones and muscles and ligaments and lots of things that need to move and very often they can end up feeling more like this. So we need to actually clean out your shoulder and find some movement again between the joints. On the top of your scapula so your scapula is your shoulder blade so just find your shoulder blade back there and can you feel the knobbly bit at the back that's this that's the spine and then if you go just above that you'll feel some muscles and chances are they feel maybe tight tense more like bone even and what I want you to do is I want you to imagine that they can actually be soft so you see in here there's actually, it's like a slide. <laughs> Come with me. Coming? Yes. You see this? In your scapula, you're going to imagine it like a slide, like this. your clavicle or your collarbone and just find it and you're going to squeeze it squeeze all around and just rotate your shoulder so move it in circles and feel how does that clavicle move as you rotate your shoulder so do you feel how it's going around in circles so you're going to squeeze all around your clavicle and take it up, squeeze it, and slowly down, and again up, 
And down now you're gonna bend to the side and we're gonna do some swings. So you're gonna swing your arm front and back and just feel how does your clavicle move as you swing. So swing, 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 swing. When you swing your arm, it's gonna swing forward and then back. Forward and back, forward and back. So let's swing the arm from the clavicle. Swing, swing and just feel your clavicle, so your collarbone, swinging with your arm. So let it swing, swing and all the muscles around it are just relaxing, softening, letting your arm, letting your clavicle swing. So now just let your arm hang and just shake it, shake, 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 and just brush your shoulder and just imagine that any of that dirt is just coming out, if there's any left, any dust or leaves, brush it out, just give your arm a shake, and then very slowly come up to standing and just notice how do your shoulders feel. Do you feel any difference between the two sides? So here's my left scapula. You see that nice valley here? My funny glove. So you're going to imagine cleaning out, like you're going down the slide and just cleaning out the valley there in the scapula. So now just lift your shoulder and imagine that place in the scapula. Maybe find the scapula, go in front of it. And then as you're lowering the shoulder, just see if you can allow that place to melt or as if you're in that slide and you're just sliding down. And again, shoulder up. And just let it slide down. And again, and up and sliding down. That may already feel like you have more freedom there in your shoulders. So now you're going to find your clavicle. So as you can see, you can do this anywhere, even if you've got a big winter coat on and you're in the middle of Central Park. So find your clavicle and give it a squeeze. Now it may be a little tender, so just breathe, go gently, and lift the shoulder up. Notice how the clavicle is lifting up. And slowly down, and again up. Lift the clavicle up, and down. Now you're going to take the shoulder forward and back, the clavicle forward and back. And now we're going to swing your arm. So just imagine that clavicle swinging front and back, front and back. So like you're on a swing. And then just let the arm hang, slowly come up. And just shake your shoulders and notice if you feel some more freedom. <laughs> so as you're making your New Year's resolutions and setting your goals, remember your shoulders. They want to be included in your picture. So post me on Facebook for 2012. Write your goals and your visions there so that we could all support them for each other. So let's see where the action ship is going to synchronize us to next week. And um, I can't wait to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, don't forget to like it and share it. And mwah. bye. You see the scapula and clavicle need to work together. Come on, go this way, we'll show you. Thank mm -hmm. you.